hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm so glad you're joining me. Today we're going to create with the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club kit for March 2023. It's called Classic Tales. And I love how unique and original this is. So let's jump in and get started. This creates... This is so neat. I'm going to try and zoom in without my camera going fuzzy or um, unclear. But you see what this can create? Oh my goodness, it's, it creates books. It can create an open book that has a story popping out of it. I just love how pretty this is. Okay, this has a greeting that says our story is um, my favorite and I love that greeting. It looks like the greeting in here might be from the Glimmer of the Month Club Kit. I don't do that Club Kit, so, um, but if you have the Glimmer Kit, it, I think it may coordinate with the Large Die of the Month Club Kit. I love the books in here. Um, of course, you know I like to switch things up, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out of my storage pocket here, and we're going to do some die cutting. Okay, I love everything in here and I love that it can be great pulled together great on its own and you know I like to think outside the box so instead of creating books that are stacked with an, a story coming out of it I thought we'd go vertical with our books so let's bring in some cardstock okay for the brown we're gonna die cut out just one let's see which way do we want it to go I think we're going to die cut out the tree trunk that that's leaning a little bit towards the left here. We'll die cut this out um, for our first book. We're going to layer this and this to create that detail layer, but I love that you can take the outline and create a backing for it. And that's where this darker cardstock will come in. I believe this is Tuscan and this is Chamomile. Now we have Terracotta. With Terracotta, I'll take the outline of this book and then we're going to take our large, lighter orange, which is barely... Actually, this is the new book. Is this Sherbert? Ah, this peach sorbet. We're going to die cut out this book. Maybe we'll do this book. We'll do the book that has the crisscross in the center with the peach sorbet and we'll put the backing on it with the um, terracotta cardstock. And then we have two shades of teal, waterfall and lagoon. So we have one more book with the lighter cardstock. We'll die cut out the detail piece. Now and then this background here goes for this detail piece and this detail piece. So these books are exactly the same. So I'll take this, die cut it out with two backgrounds, and then I'll layer it on each of my books to die cut out some, some details for my book, okay? Okay, we are down to our Rainforest cardstock, which I'm running low on. I only have a few pieces left, so I'm using it sparingly, but I think it goes really good with these colors. I went to go order more and they, um, they were sold out, so I'm going to have to wait for it to go back in stock to restock my stash. Okay, let's add some greenery to the trees. So there's three pieces to our trees. One, two, three. And I'm not going to use anything else today, just these. So I'm going to do a little bit of die cutting, and I will be right back. I have everything die cut out, and aren't the books just pretty? I just love these. We're going to use some adhesive, and we're just going to stack these together on their background. And I went light to dark, so that dark is going to stand out behind it. And I'm going to do the same thing to our blue. For the light teal, there is a die in our die set that will cut out the oval. You don't have to, but I went ahead and die cut it out so we could layer these together also. So we're just going to stack these. Okay, for our tree, we have some of these pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and flip over my branch, and I'm going to add some adhesive. And we're just going to arrange our, 
our branch with a little bit of fullness here. I'm going to put these over to the side and now we're going to work on our background. For my background, I'm going to bring in this die set. This is the Spellbinders Bunch of Borders die set. I really like this border here. I took it out and we're going to die cut this out with white cardstock. Okay, so we have our beautiful border. Just love this. And then I have a three quarter inch strip of Spellbinder Silver Fox cardstock. What we're going to do is take our card base and I wanted a lacy edge on the bottom of my card base. So what I'm going to do is take my paper trimmer. I'm going to open up my card base here and I'm going to take three quarter inches off the bottom here. Pack this down and we'll just trim three quarters of an inch off the bottom. We could actually save this for another greeting. Okay, what I'm going to do next is take this strip. I'm going to add adhesive behind here. And I'm going to tack this on the inside of my card. And then I'm going to take my border here and I'm going to place this at the very bottom. I'm going to try and evenly space it here. And I think that looks about right. Have a real pretty edge. I'm going to open this up and trim away what's overhanging. And then I'm going to bring in some twine. I have some white twine. I'm going to add this and then we have a beautiful a little bit of texture on our card. Okay, now I'm going to open up my card base. I have my blending brushes that have the same colors as my books, and I wanted to create a little bit of a background. So I'm going to layer my books how I want them on my card projects, and then I'll start with my yellow, and I'm just using the ink that's left over in here. I'm going to add a little color to the middle section on here. We'll add the teal. To me, these are all like sherbet colors. I just love the summery feel of this. Okay, so we have some color in our background. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and remove the release paper off of the foam tape. And I'm going to layer these. I have my books kind of going a little bit more towards the left because we're going to put our tree over here on this side. I know that this part of the tree is going to overhang, so I want to add a foam square here. And I'm going to cut one in half. And a narrow strip I'll put at the very bottom to the right here. For my greeting, I'm using the You Are Everything Sentiments. This is one plate that I cut out a whole bunch of greetings, so I already had some made. I'm going to use the one that says Just Because. I'm going to add a foam square behind here. And then I'm going to tack this down across our books. And lastly, I'm going to bring in my Spellbinder Spectrum AB Gems. I'm going to add a little sparkle. And that will finish off my card today using the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit. And you know, I don't even think I told you the name of the club kit. It's called Classic Tales. Something a little bit different, um, but I think it's super fun, especially for book lovers in our life. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.